Hi, everyone. So thanks for practicing again. Um, so this video, I want to do kind of a longer version of what we were doing this week um, with having to do with taking care of ourselves. Um, so this is going to be the longer one. Um, the shorter one will also be up. So if you have a little bit more time, we're going to do some similar things. You're just going to do a little bit more of it. <laughs> so. All right, so let's start moving and feel better. Let's go. All right. Okay. All right, everyone. How are you doing? Um, so if you have, um, if you have blocks or anything for stability, like sometimes I use this. <laughs> it's a little higher than my blocks. Um, if you want it, you can grab it. Um, if you have, if you have any knee issues too, if you want to just grab like a bath towel or something, you can always roll that up. Like if we're doing tabletop, you can always like come onto it. It just gives your knees a little bit more cushioning. And, or if you're doing low lunge, you can always um, put one under your knees. I just wanted to let people know that because it's, it's kind of an easy thing that we can just make the practice a little bit more comfortable. Um, since we're talking about self-care <laughs> so um all right let's get started uh we're actually going to meet up in child's pose wide-legged child so bring your feet together your knees to the edge of your mat okay and just sit your bum back all right from here reach your arms forward let let everything just kind of settle rest your forehead on your mat, rest your forearms, your palms. Right. When you're ready, take your left hand and just bring it underneath. You can kind of, you can lift up your head. Bring it under your right arm and then just come onto the left side of your head. It's like a variation of child. And then bring your left hand back, bring your right arm under, switch that. And then take the right side of your head to the mat. Okay, come up out of that. And actually now, this time, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna tuck them in and reach for the bottom of our feet. And then just let your head go to one side, it doesn't matter. Grab onto the bottom of your feet, just hug it in, tuck it in, reminding ourselves, turning inward, bringing some attention to ourselves. Couple more breaths. All right. Let's untuck our arms. And we're actually going to, let's bring ourselves forward and then bring your knees back to tabletop position. And we're actually gonna come to seated for a minute. Easy, seated, Sukhasana pose. Okay, so get tall. Back is tall, back of your neck is tall. Drop your shoulders down and kind of tuck your shoulder blades into your back a little, okay? Just your bum. 
Okay. We're going to bring our hands, deep breath in, and then just bring your palms out in front of you, creating that bubble <laughs> for ourselves. Sometimes we have to create, and then just let your hands rest on your knees. You can close your eyes if you want. Setting our intention for our practice to remen remember that um, you are your home, so take care of yourself, okay? And kind of flex your wrist there. All right, let's change the cross of our feet. So whichever leg was in the front, switch it. Okay. Bring your arms up. Exhale to cactus arms. Left hand goes to the top of right knee. Right hand goes to the back of your head like Kind of like strike a pose, right? <laughs> and then your right elbow is going to kind of go behind you and then look a little bit to your right. A little, little twist, a little shoulder opening. You can kind of grab on to your right knee if you need to. And then take it back to cactus. And then we're going to switch. So right hand goes to left knee. Left hand goes to the back of head. Left elbow goes back. Look to your left. And then reach up and let's switch sides a couple more times each side. We can make it a little more fluid if we want and just rotate or we can hold it. Your call. All right, hands to heart center. Let's bring our knees up in front of us and then just kind of heel toe it a couple times to make them a little wider. Bring your hands behind you for support, kind of at an angle. And then we're just going to drop our knees side to side. Just warming up those hips a little bit. Let your breath follow your knees. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. All right, let's come back to tabletop. Let's go back on the all fours here. Nice tabletop. <clears throat> and we're just gonna kind of roll forward and then exhale back. The, the shoelace part of your feet are pressed into the mat, okay? Our toes are not tucked down like that. So inhale forward, pull your low belly in, exhale back. Round through your shoulders. Like a wave a little bit. All right, when you're ready, just come to tabletop. Lift up your right leg, land it in between your hands, okay? We're just gonna roll here a little bit. Just kind of straighten and bend your right leg. When you're ready, you can, you can adjust yourself. You might need to tuck your left foot <clears throat> just to make some more space. Pull your low belly in, bring your hip points together, rib cage together, and then rise up. Slow lunge, I'm gonna, I have to adjust myself a little bit more here. There we go. Rise up. Shoulders down. You can be cactus arms. 
couple breaths. Okay, let's land our hands and then keep your, imagine your front foot's glued. Start to straighten your leg, bring your bum back and then unglue it, roll into your heel and then come to a half monkey pose here. Drag your fingertips on each side of your knee. Back is flat, looking straight. All right, roll forward now. And then bring your right leg back. Let's switch sides. So take our left leg in now. And again, we're just going to do our little roll back and forth here in a little bit. And then when we're ready, we feel stable and strong and secure. <laughs> Pull everything to the midline. Rise up, our low lunge. Drop your shoulders down. Getting toasty. Always getting a little toasty. Hold on. Okay. All right. Pull your low belly in, shoulders down, arms up, or cactus arms. Again, your call. Ready, land your hands and then roll back. Keep your foot glued, roll back to your heel. Drag your fingertips back, flat back. Look forward. Okay, walk yourself forward, untuck. Your right leg. Actually, let's just take it back to tabletop. Never mind that. Never mind that right now. <laughs> back to tabletop. And then let's tuck your toes and go to down dog. I was trying to get ahead of myself there a little bit, guys. Not necessary. We got time. Press it back. Lift your hips to where the wall meets the ceiling. Heels towards the mat. They don't have to touch. Pressing the mat away with your palms. Lift the outer part of your upper arms out just to get into your armpits a little bit more. Make some space between your ears and your shoulders. So press your head towards the mat more. Go ahead and lift your right foot back behind you. Lift your right leg, point your toes. And then rotate your toes a little bit to the side and then start to bend your knee and open up. Can um, extend and straighten your leg if you want a little bit. And then point your toes back down to the floor and land your right foot. Let's do the same thing on the left side. Left leg goes back, point your toes, rotate your toes a little to the side, and then just start to bend and straighten your leg. A little wide breath. Wag the tail here. All right, toes rotate back to the ground. Left foot down, down dog, Adho Mukha. Walk your feet to your hands, forward fold. Drag your fingertips up so they're a little bit above your knees. Hug your elbows into your waist. Back is flat. Inhale. Bend your knees. Exhale, rise up. Hands to heart center. Just adjust yourself. <laughs> we were a. Uh, um, inverted there for a little bit. <laughs> Let things resettle. Mountain Tadasana. All right, let's step to warrior two feet, okay? So get yourself, get your feet uh, set up. 
So the heel of your front foot, for me, it's my left foot, intersects the arch of my back foot, or my right foot. Okay, and then the right foot is either parallel to the short end of the mat or it's slightly turned to the corner a little bit, okay? Whatever feels the best on you. For me today, I'm feeling I need to have it a little straight. I hurt, I injured my back a little, so not doing yoga. <laughs> most likely from sleeping <laughs> or coughing. <laughs> Bend the front leg, bring your left leg, should be behind or above your ankle, not past it, okay? Extend your arms out and reach. Pull your low belly in. Yeah, at my age, that's how you hurt yourself. You. Uh, you sleep wrongly, <laughs> but the, the yoga is helping, so this is a good sign. All right, go ahead and reach forward with your left hand, and then let's reverse our warrior. So right hand goes to the back of the right leg, left arm reaches up. Still sink into your front leg. Press into the pinky toe side of your back leg, just for some more engagement. And then bend your left arm at the elbow and then let it just kind of just rest on the top of your left leg. Right arm goes up by ear. Side angle. Kind of imagine you're rotating your um, chest towards the sky a little bit here, okay? Looking up. All right, let's, let's start to straighten our front leg, come out of that. And let's bring our feet um, 45, okay? We're gonna sink into some goddess pose here. Um, bend your knees and just start to sink down, okay? It's Ukata Konasana. So Ukata is fierce, strong, powerful, that's what that means. Cone is angle, so fierce angle, asana is pose, okay? Hands can go to heart center, or we can if we want to pull your low belly in, always, always and forever. <laughs> and then um, bring your arms to cactus arms here. Now, here, we can come onto our tippy toes if we want, or we can come onto one tippy toe, alternate, your call, okay? All right, let's rise up out of that. Let's come to a nice star pose. Bring it back. All right, now let's rotate our feet. We're gonna do warrior, a little warrior dance, the other side, warrior two. Same thing, check your feet first, then sink into it, pull your low belly in, extend your arms, you're reaching. It's powerful, strong pose here, because we are powerful and strong. <laughs> take care of others, and we have to take care of ourselves too, okay? Check your knee, it might wanna like go in or out, make sure it's straight, okay? Your bent knee. Press into the pinky toe side of your back leg, again, for engagement. Couple more breaths. Doing good. We're gonna reach forward with our right hand. Reverse our warrior. Left hand to the left thigh. Okay. Bend, bend your right arm, rest it, side angle. Again, trying to think in side angle, we're rotating the upper body a little bit, a little bit up to the sky. There's no weight. We're not leaning into our leg, our bent leg. It's just resting there, okay? All right, let's come out of that. And ready, let's do our, our goddess pose again here, sink. OK, 
can work on our ujjayi breathing if we want, that rolling. So inhale. You exhale out through your nose where you can kind of feel, you kind of hear like a low, almost like a tide, like a wave. It's like kind of a low rumble. All right, rise up, star pose. And then let's rotate our feet straight now. Pull our low belly in, hands to hip, and let's... Let's do a wide-legged forward fold, and then let's walk it side to side. Okay, let's walk ourselves all the way around and <laughs> rotate on our feet. Okay. Come back and let's extend our legs. We're gonna be in a plank pose here. So get your plank strong, pull your low belly in. Heels are pointing to what's behind you, back is flat. Ask someone in the room if your back is flat, okay? Press the mat away. Great for the core, pull your low belly in. If you want, you can always come to your knees. And again, you can always get that towel under your knees if you've got knee issues, okay? All right. Now, everyone go to your knees. <laughs> and we're going to take our right leg up again like we did before and then just walk it to the side and bring your hands inside. So now we're in a low lizard. Um, and then press the shoelace part of your foot down the back, okay? Let's get a little bit into our hips here. Left hand goes to center, right hand goes front, and then reaches up. Right hand goes down. Bring your right leg back, left foot goes to center, and then heel toe it to the side. Hands inside, you can adjust your back right leg as needed here. Low lizard other side. Okay, right hand goes to center, left hand goes forward and then up. Sink into your hips. Bring your left hand down and then bring your left leg back, okay? Let's take a child, just a normal child this time, or wide-legged, your call. If you want, you can always bring your arms behind you too, just for something different and rest your forehead. Let's try and, mm -hmm. try and some things a little different. Walk yourself back up, tabletop, tuck your toes, bum to heel, down dog. Pick up your right foot and just put it behind your left heel a little bit. Notice that stretch in your left leg kind of on your toes of your right foot. Put your right foot back to normal position. Lift up your left foot. Put your left toes behind your right heel. Notice the stretch in the back of your right leg. All right, left foot back. Okay, we're gonna walk our feet to our hands again. Okay, forward fold here. Drag your fingertips up. Tuck your elbows in, pull your little belly in, bend your knees and rise up. 
hands to heart center adjust breathe let your let your breath settle here Tadasana pose, we are reminded to ground, ground into the mat, and then rise up also. It's this opposition, okay? All right, we're gonna do, next we're gonna do a balancing pose. I'm Stay where you're at, I'm gonna turn to face you. The, on the first side just might be a little bit easier to explain this way. So get strong in your right leg, okay? A micro bend and then lift up your left leg. Bend it to a 90, and then just start to rotate it. So maybe it's like at a 45 now, and then bring it in front of your right knee. Pull your low belly in for stability. Engage your right glute for stability, okay? All right, from here, right hand goes forward like we did earlier. Again, we're carving out that space, that bubble, our self for ourself, a little self-care. <laughs> a little space for ourselves, okay? And then your left hand can go to your hip or it can go above your uh, left knee. Your call on that. Probably don't look at me while you're doing this because <laughs> I might make you fall. <laughs> All right. I love balancing poses. Um, number one, they give our mind something to think about, right? Distracts our mind. Number two, there's been a lot of studies out there that your ability to balance um, is kind of predictive of your longevity. <laughs> so if we're talking about taking care of ourselves, maybe this can go for full circle here, right? We're gonna balance, a little self-care, we're gonna longevity, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. All right, to undo that, take your right hand, bring it back to your right hip, bring your left leg back to a 90, and then step it behind you. So now you're in a high lunge. I'm gonna stay where you're at. I'm just gonna go like this, okay? So now you're in a high lunge, okay? Pull your low belly in, sink into your lunge. Lift up, uh, again, imagine there's a string on the back of your left thigh. Lifting that up, drop your shoulders down, pull your low belly in. Not a, a super crazy back bend, but there's a little bit of back bend going on here. Okay, drop your hands down. And then again, we're gonna uh, heel toe our foot to the side. So now we're in a high, high dragon or low dragon, however you wanna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do a high one if I can. Left hand to center, right hand in front of me, and then up. Right hand goes down. Pull your low belly in, three-legged plank. Right leg goes back, pull your right the toes. Land it, down dog. Right foot behind left heel, stretch. Left foot behind right heel, stretch. Walk your feet to your hands. That flat back. Bend your knees, Tadasana. Okay. Gonna balance, same thing, other side, okay? Get strong in your left leg. Bend it, a little bend going on. Lift up your right 90 degree it. Flex your toes if you want. And then rotate your knee a little bit. So your right ankle's hovering in front of your left knee. It doesn't touch, okay? Pull your low belly in. Okay, now, left hand goes out in front of you like you're carving out your space here. Right hand either hovers above right knee or goes to right hip. Engage your left glute, pull your low belly in. Pressing the mat away with your left foot. 
Shoulders are down, back of neck is long. Bouncing. You are your home. Take care of yourself. All right, left hand to left hip, right leg back to 90, step it back all the way, high lunge. Hands go down. Heel toe your left foot to the edge, hands inside, high or low dragon. Your call here. If you're low, you just drop your right knee down, okay? Right hand to center, left hand forward, and then up. Left hand down, hands or shoulder width apart, left leg goes back, three-legged plank, um, point your left toes, and then roll to down dog. Right foot behind left heel. Left foot behind right heel, back, just step, do that a few times, step it out. All right, this time walk your hands back to your feet. Bend your knees, rest your belly on top of your thighs. Straighten your legs a little bit. Flat back, rise up. Hands to heart center. Step forward, let's do warrior two again. So left foot forward, warrior two. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Extend. We're gonna start to straighten your left leg, reach forward with your left hand. Let it land wherever you want it to. Let your hips kind of tip. Right hand to right shoulder to extend up, triangle. Pull your low belly in. Imagine your head's resting on the wall behind you. Imagine there's a wall. There isn't one. <laughs> triangle. Micro bend in your front knee still, okay? Warrior two, feet straight, hands to hips, bend your knees, forward fold, walk it side to side. Spider, spider walk kind of, I guess. Pull your low belly in, bend your knees, hands back up. Warrior two dance, other side. Well, we're not going to dance at this time. We're just going to triangle. Warrior two to triangle. So inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Straighten your right leg. Reach forward. Let your hips tip. Land your right hand. Left hand to shoulder, extend up. 
Pull your low belly in, micro bend in your uh, front, your right knee if it's the front one, okay? Triangle. Trikonasana. Warrior two. This time we're gonna do uh, goddess beat again, okay? So getting your goddess sink down. Again, we can play here, okay? We can dance side to side if we want. We can drop one shoulder. So drop your left shoulder to your towards your right knee and then switch. Drop your right shoulder towards your left knee, switch. Sink, come up onto your tippy toes. Fierce angle, right? Alternate your tippy toes if you want. Give yourself a hug. Ankle arms. Lift them up. You can let your eagle fly. Jazz hands. Do it all, guys. Here's <laughs> your chance. We can do it all. All right. Stand up. Star pose. Breathe it out. All right. Back at the top of our mat. Let's do our let's do our balance again, okay? Get strong, right leg. You know, you know, you gotta do it, guys, okay? <laughs> strong and right leg, lift up to your left, 90 degree, bend your ankle. It's in space in front of your right knee. It's not touching your right knee. You're engaging your right glute, okay? Pressing the mat away with your right foot, okay? And again, we're creating some space here for ourselves, for our self-care. Left hand. Sorry. Left hand hovers above left knee or to the hip. Your call. Notice your breath. Gauge your glute, micro bend in your right knee. Pull your little belly in. All right. Both hands to hips. Left leg goes to 90. And then step it back. High lunge. Land your hands, walk your foot to the edge, hands inside, high dragon or wizard. Left hand goes to center, right hand in front, reach up. You can always come to your knee in the back if you want, okay? Hands back to shoulder width. Get strong in your arm. Three-legged plank. Point your right toe. Roll to down dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold. Flat back. Rise up. Bend your knees. Hands above your head. Hands to heart center. Anjali mudra. All right, other side, let's get strong in our left leg. Lift up our right. Same thing, hover it in space. All right, press it away. 
get an arm's length, guys, at least, right? <laughs> it does, sometimes it doesn't feel like that much, but got to give ourselves at least an arm's length. Okay. Left hands in front, right hands to hip or above right knee. Your call, engage your left glute, micro bend in your left knee. Find your drishki point, just a spot you can stare at so you won't lose your balance, okay? That's all it is. Do not look at me. <laughs> nice Shiva dance here. Couple more breaths, guys. You got this. If you fall out, just go back into it. It's okay. All right, hands to hip. Rotate your right leg back to 90. Step it back, high lunge. <sighs> Drop your shoulders down. Lift up the back of your right thigh. Pressing through our right heel. Bend. Our left knee, pull that left hip crease back a little bit. Drop your shoulders down. All right, land your hands. Rotate your left foot to the edge. Hands go inside. Again, we're doing our high dragon, high or low dragon. Your call. Right hand to center, left hand in front, and then up. Push the mat away, with your hand and your feet. Well, your hand and your foot, I guess. All right, hands back to shoulder width. Left leg goes back into the air, three-legged plank, and then roll to down dog. All right, come onto your tippy toes, lower your knees, just let them hover for a couple breaths here. Pull your low belly in. Again, we've got that arm length of space here, <laughs> just in a different configuration with the ground, right? Giving ourselves that much. Lower your knees down. Let's take child's. Again, toes together, knees to the edge of the mat. Thread your hands through, reach for the bottom of your feet. And now rest your head the opposite way than what you did earlier. Mm. All right, when you're ready, un untuck. And then let's come back up into seated. Bring your feet to so your, your heels in front of your ankle, okay? Just your sit bones. I'm gonna do our little same thing here. <sighs> Tall, drop your shoulders down a little bit. Arms to cactus, left hand goes to right knee. Strike a pose, right hand to the back of the right head. Back of the head, I guess the right side of the head, okay? The right, <laughs> the right head. Okay, right elbow goes back a little bit and look that way. Notice if it feels any different at all from when we started. 
and then go ahead and switch. So right hand to left knee, left hand to the left side of your head, left elbow, bring it back and look towards your left. All right, go ahead and extend your right hand in front of you like you're shaking something again, where that arm's length, we're shaking hands here. Flip your palm to the sky, left hand grabs onto the right fingers and then just kind of lift it up a little bit. Make a little arm stretch in here. Not too fierce on your wrist, just <laughs> a little bit. It should feel good, not ouch. Okay, then switch. So left hand, arm space, flip it, palm to sky, grab your fingers with your right hand and lift up. All right, now let's change the cross of our feet. So whichever one is in front, bring it to the back. Sweep your arms back behind you as much as you can, and then reach them and give yourself a hug. And kind of massage your shoulder blades here a little bit. You know, up and down here. All right, drop your shoulders down. Bring your knees in front of you like this, and we're gonna do a little bit have some core work. So pull your low belly in and we're just gonna kind of sit back and lift up to boat. I can't extend out because like I said earlier, I hurt my back. So this is gonna be my boat for today. Now you can stay here. You can bring your arms down in front of you. You can bring them again, pressing it away. I'm gonna do mine in my heart center just to protect my low back a little bit. And then I'm just gonna bring my elbows side to side. Just a little flow here. Pulling your low belly in. Couple more breaths, whatever you're doing. All right, hug your knees in. Let's take it all the way down. Okay, guys, almost there. Doing great. Great on these longer flows. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and press your head in the mat. Lower your shoulders down. Okay. Walk your feet, uh, your heels as close as you can to your bum, and they should be parallel. They should be making the number 11. Pull your low belly in, okay? Arms reach up, make a fist, and then kind of tuck your elbows in. If you have wide shoulders, they're not gonna touch your side body, just wherever they feel they should naturally go. Lower your palms down onto the mat, pull your low belly in and lift up. Keeping your knees straight, they might wanna go out or in. Engage them to keep them straight here. Okay, come up onto your tippy toes and very slowly start to lower down. The last thing to lower will be your heels, okay? And this is super slow motion, like a sloth. Slower than a sloth, okay? <laughs> okay, take your feet to the edge of the mat, drop your knees side to side. Little windshield wiper going on. Oh, and then let's hug it in. Bring your knees to a 90 and your arms again can be cactus arms if you want. We're just going to tap our toes down. Okay, just last little core work here. Pulling your low belly in. No, I don't like crunches, so <laughs> we're going to do core this way.
Pressing through your arms for stability. Couple more. Or a few more. Or four more. <laughs> okay, then bring your knees back to 90 and then just kind of bring them in towards you and out. Super small motion here. In and out, pulling your low belly in. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Then hug it all in. Hug it all in, roll it out here a little bit. Okay, so again, we're gonna come to 90. Our right ankle is gonna cross, actually touch it this time, our left knee. So it's like uh, figure four. Hands go inside, pull it in. Hands go in that space you made. Flex your left toes, flex your right toes, pull it in. And then drop it all the way to the left so your right foot is landing there. Extend your hands out at shoulder height and then look to your right. Okay, pull your little belly in. If you want, you can uh, use your hands to help bring your legs back. Switch it. So now your left ankle is above your right knee. Flex your, both your feet. Reach through that space you made. Grab the back of your right thigh. Hug it in. And then we're going to drop everything to the right. Land our left foot over here. Send your arms and then look to your left. Okay, and you're ready. If you need to, you can bring your um, hands to help you lift yourself back to center. Hug it in one last time. If you want here, you can uh, stretch it up, um, point and flex your toe, um, rotate, make circles. You can take a happy baby. on your back before we set up for Shavasana. When you're ready, go ahead and get yourself comfy. <sighs> well, your work is done. Just let your breath become natural. Let everything be heavy. Be aware of how you feel. You are your home. Take care of yourself.
When you're ready, point your toes. Make a fist again with your hands. Deep breath in. Exhale it out through your mouth. Long exhale. Bend your knees. Give yourself another hug. Take it to the side. Very slowly come to seated. Sukhasana. Mm -hmm. Again, we can we can uh, make some space for ourselves here. Reminding ourselves that even though we have to take care of so much, it's still okay to give the time and the space to take care of ourselves. Your hands to your heart center and your thumbs at your heart center touching if you want. May you be okay. May you be healthy. May you be free from suffering. May you continue to be awesome and may you progress. Namaste. Thanks again everyone for practicing with me. We'll see you next week. Bye.